from Sonner. What kind? It's sort of like a, an electrical interference, sir. It's nothing outside the ship, though. I'll notify the duty electrician. Here it comes again. What is it, Lee? For those men. Where did they take the Admiral? Did you see them too? I could see them, but I couldn't move. What was that all about? Skipper, they took the Admiral right past me and I couldn't lift a hand to stop him. I know, I know. We all saw those men take the Admiral and we couldn't do anything about it. I was paralyzed. I wanted to move, but I couldn't. Yeah, we were all affected the same way, which means they must have some kind of a, a weapon or power that causes temporary paralysis. Electrical interference. That's right. That must have something to do with it. Come here. But what I'd like to know is, how did they get aboard? I don't know. But the important question right now is, where's the Admiral? And are those men still here? Now, Chief, you've got the con. Hold a steady on our course. Chief, round up a search party. As many men as you need. I want you to comb every inch of this ship. All right, sir. Come on, Skip. going to do? It is a time lock, Admiral. You are going on a journey in time.
you hear me? What's wrong with you? Just, just where am I? Can anyone hear me? I hear you, Admiral Nelson. Who is it? Who spoke? Who spoke? There's no need to shout. I can hear you quite plainly. Well, then where are you? Let me see you. Gladly. Just follow the passageway. Don't keep me waiting, Admiral. Enter the passage. No. Thank you. No, no, no. I'm okay. Okay. They're in there. Blast that door. <laughs> Gee, those bullets are bouncing off there like I did. Yeah. Nothing in there? Yes, sir. No, Skipper. There's something cockeyed about that door. You can't touch it, sir. I tried it knocked me down. We fired it. Look at it. There's not a mark on it. Must be a force field of some kind. Yeah. Those characters got the Admiral in there, and how are we gonna get him out of there? All right, post these two men here. Yes, sir. You too. If anybody but the Admiral comes out of this door, shoot to kill. Ski, come with me. Yours was the voice I heard. That is correct, Admiral Nelson. I had you brought here. And exactly where is here? Only a few miles from where you were originally. Actually, you've asked the wrong question. You see, space is hardly the critical dimension in your case. Instead of where am I, you should have asked when am I? Oh, well. And this is, is the future, is it? Your future, my present. Everything in this world is relative. Well, if you wish to be precise, in your terms, it would be the year um, 2,823. Uh, and uh, who are you? I am called Alpha. Alpha, no, no title, no formal address. Titles are a relic of the past. Regrettably, Admiral Nelson has a ring, doesn't it? Look, why have you brought me here? Alexander the Great, Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte, General Stonewall Jackson. Yes, I've always been fond of titles, especially military ones. You belong to a most enviable fraternity, Admiral Nelson. I'm much more interested in the answer to my question. As to why I brought you here. Oh, yes, of course. Um, to add you to my collection. 
Force field? You mean they've got the Admiral locked in the ship's lab and you can't get to the door? That's right. What kind of enemy are we up against? <laughs> I wish I knew. What about rigging an explosive charge? No good, Chip. Anything powerful enough to go through that force field would tear the hull apart. Skipper, I was just thinking. What is it, Chief? When I was a kid, we played a lot of sideline football. I was generally the quarterback. This isn't the time for your life story. Go on, Chief. Well, sir, when we were up against a real tough line, we had a motto. If you can't go through them, go around them. Of course, you and the Chief go back to your post. Now, wait a minute, Chief. Wait a minute. If you can't go through them, go around them. You may have hit on something. Do you, uh, do you think you can carry it out? You bet I can, sir. All right. Take what you need from stores and uh, get going. Skeet, give me a hand. Right. Fascinating, isn't it? Who is this man? His name is no longer important, but he was once an admiral. I sent my collectors back into the past to seize him. And here he is being conditioned to take his place in my priceless collection. Condition? Naturally. It would be dangerous and foolish to leave men of military genius in their natural state. So I use this device to uh, drain off their intelligence. Hmm. I believe the Admiral's about ready. There we are. Now, oh, Admiral, rise. What have you done to the man? <laughs> oh, don't worry, Admiral Nelson. He isn't suffering. He feels nothing. And he has become an obedient and docile item in my collection. And now, sir, it's your turn. Exactly what you have to do, Chief. Getting around the force field and reaching the Admiral. That's the important thing. It's not the only important thing. What about those men that captured him? We don't know what kind of weapons they have or how quickly they'll use them. Meaning you want me to shoot first? Go ahead. All right, sir. But you're foolish to struggle, Admiral. Well, perhaps I am being a bit hasty, but I'm doing it as a favor to you. <laughs> but it's true. Usually I keep my prisoners several hours while I check every detail of their background. Then, if I find a point which needs clarifying, I can always ask them about it. Because, you see, once they've been processed, it's useless to ask them anything. Uh, just, just how are you doing me a favor? Bob, I'm not giving you all those hours to worry. This way, after a few minutes, the unpleasant process will be over. Oh, thank you very much. But I am a bit disappointed about the uniform. I'd expected you to arrive in full dress. Well, we'll just have to make the best of it. It'll take a few moments to replenish power. Try to be patient.
Skipper, we just relieved the two guards outside the lab, and the first thing we heard were several shots from inside. The chief, he got him. Has anyone tried to come out of the lab? No, sir, we're watching the door. It hasn't budged. Maybe the chief can't get through the force field. Uh, maybe. Very well. Stay in your post until you're relieved. Aye, sir. Chief, are you there in the lab? Um, don't come any closer. I want you. Stay back. I want... Chief. Chief. Are you there in the lab? Skipper, maybe he's already started back through the ducks. Chief, if you've already started back, signal by rapping on the duct walls. Chip, lay after the lab core to check this out, will you? Fasten the straps. Chief! Stop! I command you! After Shoot anyone that comes in. I mean, oh, anyone. What kind of a place is this? We'll talk about that later. It's our one chance to get back to see you. But first, I have to figure out how this thing works. Mr. Morton. What's this about hearing shots from inside? We heard him playing, sir. Have you heard any more since? Not a sound, sir. Be careful, sir. The force field. It's on. Chief? Sharky, can you hear me? Keep a sharp eye on it. story personally. Both guards have certainly heard shots from inside the lab, several of them. What about the force field? Strong as ever, they tested it. Well, where do you think you're going? Something's happened to the chief, sir. I've got to help him. You won't help anybody if you get yourself killed. Skipper, we've got to do something. We don't even know what we're up against yet. Now, secure the guard detail at the lab. All right, sir. Chip, how far are we out of Santa Barbara? We can reach it in about an hour at flight. Mm. We've got uh, equipment at the Institute that should be able to neutralize the force field, no matter how strong it is. Well, we ought to get back there as fast as we can. Right. Set a course for Santa Barbara. Bye. Bye. You will send no more specimens unless I request them. With your permission, we can sever the time bridge and return to base. No. The time bridge will remain. There are weapons of war aboard that submarine which will prove useful to us later. We can expect more trouble from the submarine crew. Then keep them occupied until I contact you with further orders. Skipper, emergency in lab quarter. 
Kowalski. Yes, Kowalski. What is it? The two guards said they've been knocked out. Chip, get two corpsmen down there right away. Kowalski, Sorry. what about the lab? Closer. And that force field or whatever it is still works. Very well. Check all the corridors in that section. And if anything else unusual turns up, let me know about it. I'm the double. Aye, aye, sir. Corman are on the way. Good. Stay right where you are. Now put your hands over your heads. Take another step and I'll let you have it. Too close. 
Have a work party. Check out those controls. I want to know why they froze. All right. Fascinating. A genuine old late 20th century handgun. I imagine, under the right circumstances, it could be quite deadly. Oh, I'd be happy to demonstrate it for you. Yes, I imagine you would. You realize, Admiral, that by your behavior, you have forfeited the right to any consideration by me. Meaning what? Meaning you'll be processed as soon as I give the word. That will make for plenty of anxiety, together with the uncertainty as to just what moment will prove to be your last. How do I know that you have the authority to do this? I'd like to see your superior. Superior? My dear Admiral, no one is my superior. Oh, you mean that uh, you're the chief of state? You really have the most amusing notions. I'm going to miss you when you're finally processed. But to answer your question, I'm not an official of any sort. I'm a private citizen and answerable to no one as long as I obey the law. And murder is legal now. There will be no murders. My friends here are quite alive, as you will be. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What kind of a madhouse is this? Who's this guy, anyway? Easy, easy. easy. Well, Admiral, it's... Sit down, sit down. No, I, I don't believe you, Alpha. I don't believe you have a legal right to do this to anyone. Ah, but you're wrong. I do. I am acting by authority of the Hobby Act. The Hobby Act? With a five-hour work week, no one has anything to do. Hobbies are considered the most crucial activity for all citizens. The Hobby Act was designed to protect our interests. And this is my chosen field. I collect toy soldiers. <laughs> their check and no sign of malfunction throughout the systems but these controls froze they say there's no real explanation unless deliberate sabotage that means they've left the lab well, that's what i thought so i checked on my way up the door is still closed and the force field is still in operation well that doesn't necessarily prove anything they could be wandering loose all over the ship there's no telling what they might do next what are your orders well just in case they do try anything else i want us to have a fighting chance take us upstairs all right Blow main ballast. Prepare to get underway. from sick band the two guards were knocked out. How are they? No serious injury. Good, good. Have you posted relief guards at the lab? That's the first thing I did. Skipper, those two weird characters are walking around the ship. What? I saw them, sir. They were just going into the circuitry room. Circuitry room? Chip, get an arm detail. All the men you can spare. All right. Skipper, just one thing. An arm detail isn't going to help. What do you mean? Well, I pumped a bunch of rounds in them at close range, and they didn't even feel it. They turned on me and knocked me cold. You were that close to them? Oh, yes, sir. But I never want to get that close again. I don't know what those guys are, but they sure aren't human. Better warn any arm detail you sent after them. Well, thanks, Cross Galwell. Getting no 
response from the tank valves. We can't blow ballast. What's our keel to bottom depth? Under 100 feet. Brace for crash. Brace for crash. <laughs> What's our situation? Sir, we retain full watertight integrity, but our air revitalization system's out. Put every man you've got on the repair job at once. Aye, aye, sir. Air revitalization. We can't survive without it. No, not for very long. That's all we need, a fire. The electrical fire is in circuitry room. Fire detail responding. Ask me, I think this character's a little dingly. You know what I mean? You really don't believe this gag about being the future, do you? What, don't you? No, I don't. I'll tell you why. Admiral. Uh, Admiral, what are you doing? Just trying to see if this alloy will burn. It will. Well, what I mean is, what proof have we got? Hmm? All I've seen is this cell, a couple of rooms, they don't even have any windows. And it's for those zombies he's got with him. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in the fact that there are no windows, too. But I do believe we're in the future. I saw enough of that machine that brought us here to convince me of that. Well, how does that tie up with uh, no windows? And it's sure. But one thing I am sure of, human nature doesn't change very much from century to century. Now, I can't imagine a future civilization that would condone a man raiding the past for victims and changing them into mindless vegetables for his own amusement. I know. Is he really going to pull that on us? Well, he is, unless we stop him. Well, how? Well, we've got to call the attention of the outside world to this place. It's a little difficult without windows, but maybe, uh... Maybe a fire might do it. Fire? Sure, a fire. All right, get those blankets over there. Aye, aye, sir. serviceable diversion. Now, go to Admiral Nelson's cabin and secure his finest full-dress uniform. Bring it here. I wish him to be attired befitting his rank. Now, that should give our friends something to think about. Could spread through the wall, sir. That's what I'm counting on. We could be burned alive. No, there's bound to be some kind of automatic alarm system. It's getting hot, sir. Yeah, it's getting hot. Huh. It generates its own, its own built-in fire department. Just ahead. Come on. Wait a minute. You mean we're going to get inside that thing? Yes. Quick. You know how to work it? I don't believe we have to do anything. It's some kind of a time bridge. You step inside the tube and suddenly you reappear in the other one back aboard Seaview. Yeah, well, I hope you're right, sir. All right, come on. Get in. Nice, right, sir. <laughs> These old relics really are effective, aren't they? <laughs> I 
I really didn't want an enlisted man in my collection in the first place. All hands, this is the captain speaking. We're lying dead on the bottom, with our hulls intact and the fires under control. That means that given time for repairs, we can raise the ship. However, the air revitalization system is knocked out. And until it's repaired, we're dangerously short of air. There will be no talking and no unnecessary movement no activity of any kind that will increase the use of oxygen. Needless to say, the uh, smoking lamp is out. And that's all. Chip, take over. Unit up to the Admiral's cabin. I want his door welded fast. You got it? Yes, sir. What is it? Those two men, if we work fast enough, we've got them trapped.
Chief Sharky and the Admiral? They're not here. Chip, what's the most powerful portable weapon we have aboard? Portable? Uh, let's see, the, the Mark 8. The grenade launcher, of course. All right, send me one immediately. Send it to the vent. That force field's still working. Wait a minute, Lee. You can't use the Mark 8 inside the sub. Who says I'm going to use it here? Now get it to me on the double. Aye, aye. It was clever of you to discover that light is the only weapon which affects my collection. For your own eyes don't seem very good to me. You're right. I've kept them out of the light for so long. Occupational disability. However, my collection is worth any sacrifice. Don't you agree, Admiral? Do you really expect me to? <laughs> no, but no matter. In a very few moments, you will no longer trouble yourself with such things. Your own weakened eyes will only produce an unemotional reflex action. Nothing more. In one sense, I rather envy you. I don't envy you at all. Now, this hobby business of yours, it's, um, it's all to cover, isn't it? What are you talking about? A collection of soldiers, all officers, men with a wide knowledge of war and military strategy. Now, in a civilization which has eliminated war, military knowledge from the past would give you quite an advantage, wouldn't it? How soon... Uh, how soon are you ready to start your war, Alpha? So, you've guessed. Ah, then it is true. That was clever of you. You have a brilliant mind, Admiral. I shouldn't wonder that uh, you proved to be the most valuable part of my collection. How many rounds, Kowalski? There's ten rounds in the magazine, sir. That's enough to blow up an army. Good. What's the situation in the upper corridor? Uh, it's quiet. I guess those characters decided to give up. Ah, oh, very well. Get back to your post. All right, sir. Thanks. Look out. Those characters are in the vent. They're heading for the lab, Skipper. Do you hear me? They're heading for the lab, Skipper. don't you, Admiral? But of course, from my point of view, you're going nowhere. But from yours, who knows? Get him! 
Skipper. Uh, it hurt pretty oh. bad. Here, let me put a compress on this. Uh, All right. Take it easy, boy. Just take it easy. Let's go. I don't know. There. Explosives here to blow up the whole complex. I'll leave enough time for us to get away. <laughs> Don't worry. All right. Yes, yeah, she's finished. Tom, get inside. Chief to sit there. 